The Bakken is, well, it's the Bakken. It's the Wild West. If you look at it on a map, it really doesn't seem that far away, but if you go chasing out there, your entire day is shot. Guaranteed. It's kind of a bucket list of mine to get a big photogenic tornado in this exact landscape right here. I could die happy. So here we go again, to walk amongst the giants. The other problem with the Bakken is that there is a giant radar hole out there. We, I mean, seriously, you might, we might as well just go there. Now. The main 88D like, radars are in Glasgow, Montana, Minot, and then Bismarck, North Dakota. Perfect position. And the Bakken is kind of right in the middle of that, so the result is the range is from the dish. It's not too clear of a picture out there sometimes. Rotation might look weak when, in fact, there's a tornado on the ground. That is a problem. Yeah. In varying elevations, cell signal's kind of spotty at best. So it's challenging. I mean, there's, this is being consistent. What is that? That's the thing. What is that? And I've seen more shelf than a prison librarian out there. Today would prove no different. But when the Bakken throws down a linear setup, it puts on quite the show. Yeah. See, like you were just saying, in all reality, storm chasing is a lot of just sitting yeah, and waiting. So basically, we're just sitting here. Well, it was so great because we busted Waiting for so things hard, to happen. And then even it's now zero, zero, zero past that. Really good super Nothing's fired in our area. And that most LLC likely, came. this is probably going to be a late game. It was a Monday. Which is not ideal, but that's okay. My, my whole thought is, if we go, like, after that, and haul ass, we'd have to catch it by Beulah. And like Shane was saying, too, we'd have to go by Beulah. Yeah. Maybe get something, or it dies out, while this is absolutely going into a better environment. And we might as well just go west and I mean, that's looking better and better, though, honestly. I mean, it's kind of, you know. They're always saying as soon as these elevated storms meet surface boundaries, they're going to be a lot more interesting, right? So, yep. Might as well. Game. Yeah, we're about what 70 miles away. 70 miles away. I yeah. mean, like, like we would never catch that in time, and then we, even if we did, it's probably gonna die by the time we get there. Maybe. Yeah, and even the western ones were about 70 miles away, and we could uh, follow well, them back. That's going in that better environment. Yep, and we could follow them back. Yep. That's it. So this escalated quickly. Didn't plan on Montana, but here we are. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Holy smokes, dude. That's, yeah. Ouch. That thing totally got smoked by that train, dude. I don't buy that's a tumor. I, I don't know. But yeah, Dave and Jaden's like, you know, someone messed up big time some way that thing's producing quite like yet. Probably saw some pointy cloud, thought it was a full cloud or whatever. But you know how you get shelf clouds and you get that little finger leg striations that roll in the front? That's probably exactly what we saw. No, yeah. I just don't see it. This one, that I feel like the southern periphery, well, that's where we need to go. It's a period point, I think. That looks like the echo tops are 50,000, echo tops are not 50,000, not beyond. 
that's going to have more of a... That's going to realize more of that cave with you. That's that little thing right there. I think I see something in there. There's a real stout looking wall cloud over there. Do you see that? It's like directly yeah. west of us? Directly west, yeah. Two areas of interest. I mean, one, one is right up here with a pretty good amount of rotation. The other one's down there. Just wish I could get up and see it. Larry, can you shoot it? Yeah. Okay, good. Pretty healthy looking show as a mothership. That cup is still looking pretty. Is there any road that goes like directly? Huh? It's down the corner. Maybe try to get up to the higher spot so we have a better vantage of what's going on. And I can oh, yeah, that's what I don't know if I can. That's the problem because it's just there's hills everywhere. You know? <laughs> I don't know if the road that goes that way. West mm -hmm. and lowering right there. It's that. It's kind of right ahead, but right ahead of us, though. That's kind of rotating, too. You see that? Yeah. Clouds right there. Do you see that? Yeah, look. Look. What? See the rotating clouds right there.
Look at that wind blowing up there. No tornadoes today, but the mere chance brought me. That's all it takes. It's the fish of 1,000 casts, like muskies. Sometimes you come home empty-handed. That's the game. Recently, someone rather cruelly sent me a message trashing what I do and then questioning my actual intent in doing this stuff. Not gonna lie, it made me think. I've been driving thousands of miles to stare at clouds basically since when I could drive. More so in the last 15 years. I've been obsessed with tornadoes since I was a little boy. I don't know what it was. But I do remember being five years old looking up at a wall cloud passing over our school and being completely mesmerized. There's awe wonder, amazement, and yet fear, nervousness, and outright terror all in one. I've said it before. I feel like there's a presence out there. It's, it's palpable. I am a storm chaser. And some of the best memories I have had have been here. Some of the best friends I have made have been here. Some of the best things that I have done for other people have been here. And some of my biggest heartbreaks have been here. I don't know if I'll do it forever. We come from all walks of life and backgrounds with a common bond to cautiously walk amongst the giants. <laughs>